Laura Ingram uh, has two jobs to do. One is to whine about liberals and the other is to back white supremacists. But wouldn't <laughs> you know it, she did both of them at the same time the other day. Take a look. To Nancy Pelosi and Hillary Clinton, welcome to the internet, uh, where things are doctored. There are memes. If you just do a, a fair search of my name, your name, oh, no. Trump's name, they never do it to <laughs> us, Candace. I mean, I can't believe the amount of noise that they're making over. This is the way the internet works. This is the game of humor, of parody. But if you can't be a conservative, putting together a montage, we've been doing montages both on my old radio show, my podcast, this television show for years. Facebook now, what do they monitor? Quote hate. That sounds good until you realize hate, and these are some of the people they've uh, they've they've shunned. Yeah, you are you on that? Oh, there, you are. <laughs> there I am. Oh, hey, hi, how are you? <laughs> but it's people who believe in border enforcement, people who believe in national sovereignty. So here are the people that she showed. They are uh, Alex Jones, Milo Yiannopoulos, blah blah blah, and that guy in the bottom corner is Paul Nealon. <laughs> Just to show you the kind of stuff that he has put up. Um, he hasn't been for Twitter. Here's this uh, image that he did uh, of. The royal couple, honey, does this time make my face look pale? And then he also runs these anti Semitic tropes uh, that you've seen before, probably on this show, but not just that, Jank, others, you have them. Uh, he said of Robert Bowers, who killed 11 people in the Pittsburgh synagogue, I'm not opposed to someone leading a million Robert Bowers to the promised land. You, he, you just can't get any more anti-Semitic than that. And by the way, it goes on and on his anti-Semitism and what he says about the Jewish question. Um, and and then, but don't worry, he's not going to leave out uh, African Americans, as you saw in that meme he put up. But he also said he proposed that quote some group of chimped out N words, and of course he said it, uh, will attack senior citizens, leading to a race war. And so. Apparently, for Laura Ingram, these are the heroes of of the right wing. So the Alex Jones who berates Sandy Hook parents and believes in all sorts of insane conspiracy theories, Milo Yiannopoulos, what he said about pedophilia, and then you get to I can't believe she put Neilan on that list. Even Laura Ingram. Why? Unreal. Why shouldn't she? But why shouldn't she? She talks about demographic replacement, the Great Replacement, which is nearly identical to what the. Uh, mosque shooter in New Zealand did and talked about routinely. The mosque shooter also mentioned as a meme, Candace Owens as well. Candace Owens, who is on the show, is a conspiracy theorist, has talked about how you know low IQ leads to crimes and that's why we need to deal with them somehow and has gone on the prominent white nationalist, Stefan Malnier or Malny meme or whatever his last name is, his show to talk about the great replacement as well. So like the people that they're having on, I mean, she's not wrong, they, these are prominent conservative speakers. These are prominent conservative voices and these are absolutely conservative ideas. What Nalen is saying is, I mean, he's just going mask off. What's really funny about it is though, um, Nalen was such a very virulent uh, racist and anti-Semite that even Breitbart was like, yeah, 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 we don't like this guy anymore. But he went to Gab and got kicked off a of Gab, yeah, which is where you go enough, when you get kicked off everything else. Good enough for, for Laura Ingram, who constantly talks about how we didn't vote for these demographic changes and dog whistles about America's browning out. Candace Owens and Donald Trump talking about low IQ people is one of the funniest ironies you'll ever get. <laughs> And finally, to Haas's point about the great replacement theory, remember in Charlottesville, they chanted, the Jews will not replace us. Laura Ingram on her show has said, the immigrants will not replace us. She knows what she's doing. They did those graphics on purpose. That's amazing. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.